Hi friends, uh, welcome in the ERP SAP team. And uh, today we are going to learn uh, procurement of the services in SAP MM. Okay. This is a theoretical lecture or tutorial. And this lecture is going to involve what are the various steps of the procurement of services for your organizations and uh, basically every organization acquires services to complete the business needs the process of buying materials and obtaining services from the vendors or dealers is procurement hope you understand so procurement of the services having the following steps first purchase requisition process then inquiry tendering request for quotation process then contract then service purchase order then service entry sheet then one major step is uh, invoice verification and uh, vendor ongoing payments okay so what is the purchase requisition uh, procurement in rv every organization start with the gathering requirements once requirements are gathered we need to inform the purchasing department a purchase requisition is a document that contain a list of requirements. The key points to note about a purchase requisition are as follows. A requisition is a request that is made to be the purchasing organization to procure a certain list of services. It is an internal document and remain within the organization. If a purchase requisition has already been approved, then it can be modified only to a limited extent. Purchase requisition is an internal do purchasing document in SAP. It is used to give notification to responsible department of requirement of the material and external services. So basically, this is a uh, internal document. Okay. For, for procurement of the services, we need to create the purchase equation. First, A, item category, D, services. Okay. This is our internal matter. Uh, if you have, if you are going to create the need base uh, purchase requisition. ABO procurement, then the range of this is this. Headquarter procurement is this. Project procurement, then purchase requisition number is will, uh, ranges from this to this. Local procurement, then purchase requisition number is from this to this. And stock transfer procurement, STO procurement, then the purchase requisition number is this to this. By starting number of the purchase revision, you can uh, identify the data of the type of the purchase revision, and this is internal. So, how can you create the purchase requisition? If you are going to follow the SAP menu path, then go in the logistic material management, purchasing, and purchase requisition and create. And we are uh, second option ME51, and we are going to create the purchase revision using this. Now enter in the transaction box, click in the enter, okay? Once, once you are going to enter, then you need to select the project procurement. If we are, we are going to create the project procurement, okay? In account assignment category K, item category D, D is for services, so text services. Quantity, material group, plant, storage location, purchasing group, requisitioner, and here you need to fill the tracking number In generally tracking number you need to fill the HR ID of the employee which is responsible to create the purchase equation okay then purchase equation document type project document type account assignment category in account assignment category short text quantity delivery date material groups you need to fill the inter okay then next step is you need to fill the GL account under the account assignment category. What is the GL account? In the GL account is the books of account where you are going to book the cost in respect of the finance matter. Cost center, you need to fill the cost center here. And then you need to click on the enter. Once you enter, then you need to click on this checkbox. If there is a no issue, uh, no message during check, then you need to save this once you save once you save this then system will generate a purchase requisition number and if you are do, going to do any changes then you need to open this purchase requisition number in me52n 
you can change purchase equation with me 52 n and if you want to display purchase equation then me 53 n is a transaction code okay and this is our sap menu path okay and how can you release the purchase equation first option is to release the purchase equation using sap menu path go in the your workflow inbox and forward to your concern project manager and concern in charge he or she will going to approve your purchase equation our second option is you can directly approve this purchase equation using transaction code me 54 and and uh, if you just uh, execute the transaction code me 54 and click on the enter here you need to fill the purchase equation number and uh, here you need to click on this release uh, first uh, initiator is there then competent authority is there and then you just uh, here executive engineer is even and you just going to approve click on the release and after the click on the release you need to save this okay once release affected after releasing the purchasing document number click on the check if no message is there then click on the save oh and how can you close the purchase equation number okay and uh, the same me 52 in you can uh, close this purchase equation after the completion of the job hope you understand for example uh, after the completion of the purchase equation then uh, if you order the 11 quantities and uh, system will generate the 10 quantity then system will if you have utilized the nine quantity then for two quantity system is open and after completion of this you just click on this check click on this checkbox closed and system will uh, close this purchase equation you are not going to uh, do any type of the work in this purchase equation the second step is tendering process okay then tender materials uh, zotm zots uh, tenders for services zott tenders for trunky materials okay so how can you create the request for quotation request for quotation is the document with respect to purchase equation you can send to multiple uh, vendors for the request for quotations and uh, system will code the minimum value minimum amount of the codes and system will allow this okay in me 54 m this is the sap menu path of the creation of the request for quotation this is the sap t codes me 54 one is is now enter and uh, click on the request for reference to purchase equation and uh, once you are click on this uh, re reference to purchase equation rfq type jots language is this date is this quotation deadline is this and rfq detail is this purchase organization is this purchase group is this item category delivery date plant and all is this once you click on the reference to purchase requisition system will ask for the purchase requisition and you need to fill the purchase requisition and click on this enter okay in me 54 one you need to create this uh, rfq okay once you cre click on the create this system will in the second step click on the header data in the second step click on the header data two options are there delivery date input select delivery date must be later than quantity deadline date input select delivery date must be later than quantity deadline date okay this is 15 to 2020 and this is 16 to 2020 and once you click on the header data and call number and uh, quotation deadline in item interval delivery and all and he, here you need to fill the tender details okay for example tender details uh, publish date sales start date bid submission date all things you are going to just and here tender type open tender form of contract okay emd amount tender fees service selections 
all these required parameters which are required in the RFQ, you need to fill this, okay? And then you are going to click on the create. Once you click on the create, here you need to fill the vendor address, okay? And vendor address is this, okay? And here you have to fill the vendor service created under the RFQ number RFQ 0013, okay? If you are going to do any changes, do in ME 42. And if you are going to do any changes, ME 42, and you can um, display using ME 43. Okay. Maintain quotation, part to maintain quotation, quotation, ME 47. In ME 47, click on the enter. Okay. Select our FQ number. Okay. here you need to fill this enter okay and just select the line item and click on the services here you need to maintain the services uh, consultancy services 100 quantity price is 900 and click on the save once you click on the save system will save this RFQ. This is re request for quotation with respect to PR for a particular vendor. Okay. Now the second third of part is contract. Project material PO, trunky purchase PO. Okay. And uh, number range is from this internal and this is also internal. Okay. So for the creation of this contract, you need to execute the transaction code ME31K. In ME31K is now transaction box and click on the enter. And uh, here you need to create this reference to RFQ. Agreement type this, agreement date is this, purchase organization is this, plant is this. And here you need to fill the RFQ details. Okay, and click on this. All the RFQ details will be automatically adopted here. Okay. Validity in date, this called track validity in date is this, target value is this, and reference. Okay. Now, here you need to select the line item and adopt plus details. Click on click adopt plus detail. Okay. Then again, select line items, click on the services and fill the service detail here. Check grass price and click on the save. Project material PO created under the number this. So contract number is created here. You can uh, change using ME 32K. You can display using ME 33K. Now, we are going to create the purchase order with respect to contract. So this is the service purchase order. Ranges is from this to this. And again, this is in internal number. This service purchase order is an external document. You need to send this purchase order to the vendor for accepting the PO. Okay. Now this is ME 21 and this is standard item. Click on the document overview on. Once you click on the document overview on, and here you need to adopt the details of the purchase order from the contract. Click on the contract. Okay. Go there. Fill the contract number. Select the variant. Fill the contract number. Okay. <coughs> and uh, all the here document uh, contract number is this and click on this adopt and here click the choose the appropriate type of the purchase order headquarter purchases then fill the service number and here vendor details is automatically fetched from the uh, contract details if not fetching then fill the contract details okay how can we adopt Just click on this variant choose contract uh, fill this contract, execute, select this contract and click on this 
adopt once you adopt then all the details of the contract will be coming here okay and uh, overall limit is this expected value is this fill all the basic details of this purchase order okay like invoice tax code is you can fill the tax code means how much amount of the gst will be applicable on this particular service okay and click on the same headquarter purchase created under number this okay you can change this using me 22m you can uh, display using me 23m you can approve using me 29n okay and uh, secondly you can uh, send this purchase order uh, from the workflow inbox to the competent authority here she will approve this and uh, once it approved then take the printout using me 9f and send to the vendor okay this is the workflow inbox you okay and this is the manual method of the man approval me 29 n okay this is using me 29 n you can approve this purchase order hope you understand and uh, once you release this purchase order then uh, you can create the service entry sheet okay hope you understand of this process okay now the last step is me 81 n it's not me 81 it is ml 81 n okay this is not me 81 n this is ml 81 n you need to create the service entry sheet using the transaction code ml 81 n and here you need to click on the other purchase order you need to fill the purchase order and click on enter okay and he, once you click on the create then sort fill the short text amount okay and uh, fill the hist in the history tab fill the storage location in the long text data you will fill the details okay and uh, click on the service selection once you click on the service selection and uh, if you want to adopt the full quantity then check this inbox and click on this full quantity of the purchase order will adopt in these services if you want to adopt partial quantity then uncheck this box and click on this and choose appropriate quantity for example uh, <coughs> select this 10 quantity is there so they are going to adopt the 10 quantity <coughs> select this line click on the services <coughs> and here you you have freedom to change the quantity so uh, 10 quantity in the purchase order then he has uh, sell, chooses 5 quantity in the acceptance data tab you need to fill the document and posting date okay okay and click on the save once you click on the save the service entry sheet number is generated and uh, using workflow inbox you can <coughs> you can uh, approve this service entry sheet or if you want to release manually then uh, from the competent authority uh, inbox execute the transaction code ml81 and click on the display change and uh, click on the release button and save a zir number has been will posted simultaneously that is accounting document with respect to that accounting document account official will do the invoice verification process with respect to this service entry sheet number that is myro then uh, once the uh, Miro has been approved then vendor ongoing vendor payment has been done. So this is overall uh, the process of the procurement of the services. I will just dis trying to explain about the how can we procure services from the external vendor. Okay. Hope you understand this process. If you have any query in your mind, please mention in the comment section. And this is purely theoretical tutorial, pu purely for understanding purpose. We will do the practical in the next tutorial and uh, you will see step by step. Hope you understand. Thank you.